everyone welcome to the 23rd i believe july illustration good news i have managed to film another three videos so you are uh, for sure going to get three videos today and that means i have only six videos left to film which i'm planning to do uh tomorrow which is going to be wednesday and then on the thursday hopefully i can film the friday and then i'm planning to take a little bit of a break because um yeah it's been very interesting very enjoyable and it's been such a good place for us to come here three times a day and enjoy um, a bit of us time and also sharing some of our um health experiences during this difficult time so um, i'm very uh, appreciative of all of your comments and how we're trying to help each other here and support each other so yes together strong um okay so basically today i decided to go with um, a color that generally i don't use very often there are two colors that tend to be absent in my palettes, which is purple. I just happen to not like um, certain purples. I like the, the lilacs and um, there's certain hues or certain tones of purple, which I really adore. But it has to be that, like, I have to look at it and love it. Um, I don't like purple in general as a color, if that makes sense. Along with it, blues. I love some blues, uh, but am I using them very often? No, not at all, as well as the purple. So I'm trying to um, encourage myself here to uh, use a color that I haven't used in a long time and uh, experiment a little bit with it. And um, I will talk you through the process and uh, explain why I... Um, uh, well, maybe wish that I didn't do a certain thing, which you'll see anyway later. So, anyways, we're going to now um, concentrate on the illustration, which is almost finished. By the way, for the next um, two videos, so all of the videos today, they will be a little bit on the short side, uh, simply because I was not in a great um, physical state today at all and without you know moaning about it but i think you know what i mean and uh yeah i was really uh it was almost a challenge to film those so that's why i um had to um maybe simplify the illustration slightly um so that's that okay so here is the mayan blue this is a genuine color from daniel smith which means it's a uh, from the primatech range and that means that they have been um, um, minerals or stones uh, that are general uh, genuine taken from the nature and then ground up and um, uh, used together with the binders to create watercolor out of them so generally they are a little bit more expensive than uh, some of the other colors but it also depends what series you're comparing to um, some of the genuine colors might be actually cheaper than some of the high series um, like series 3 or series 4 uh, colors they might be more expensive so not necessarily are they going to all of the genuine colors going to be uh, more pricey so that depends on the pigments of the others etc etc so here is the blue color now i really love this blue by itself and in fact when i bought it i bought it specifically to use with illustrations for denim purpose and i did this uh, super skinny boy illustration which actually hung in my uh, son's room and it's hanging there in uh, in a frame there is somewhere i'll try to link it up there if you're interested because i did a tutorial on it so i used this or i think i did maybe i'll try to find it it's one of the very old videos so the quality might not be great especially the uh sound quality i assume so the color really reminds me of denim it's that beautiful muted textured blue um it's gorgeous 
Now, I decided to team it up with a juicier green, not the core um, green gold, but the Daniel Smith green gold, which is a lot more, um, has that brightness to it and almost um, acidity, I want to say. So here's the mistake I did. I put that um, green gold in the center of the flower while the Mayan blue was still wet. Because this green gold has um, quite a bit of yellow tone in it, when you mix it with a blue it's going to create a green and that is the part that I didn't like in uh, merging the two colors together and I thought that those two colors don't look great together for me personally. There's nothing wrong with uh, it's a lovely color the green that it makes but uh, for my kind of color scheme here I wasn't aiming to turn it into a green rose so um, that was my kind of uh, mistake in a way and um, other than that I really like it so what I should have done here to avoid this um, color mixing is I should have waited for the Mayan blue to dry completely and then glaze over with the green and that way it wouldn't have touched the still wet color and it wouldn't have gone over it. So here desperately I'm trying to mask it all up and add a little bit more of the mine blue. Um, you still can see the green gold, it's a very luminous color and it's hard to layer over it because Mayan blue is quite transparent so it doesn't have that density of a color that you could build up and and you know make it very dark and then with that uh, hide the color beneath it so you can't really achieve it with Mayan blue um, so therefore that will be kind of <laughs> the uh, process here which I wish I didn't do but you learn from your mistakes and you should embrace your mistakes and um, yeah so that's what I decided to do here and other than that I went again with the Schminke green gold uh, sorry the, the Schminke gold and I added that in a few areas on the leaves and that is pretty much it so I don't remember what I will do still because we have another two and a bit minutes Oh yes, I thought something was missing here and I decided to add a little bit more to the illustration because it just, it was so fast. I couldn't believe that I finished it already within like, you know, seven minutes, something. And I decided to doodle a few more um, whimsical flowers to add to the um, um, composition of the flowers. And I think, what color will I go for it? Actually, I completely forgot. I did it this morning, but you see, because I wasn't feeling great, I had a very foggy mind with it. And it seems that things have cleared up a little bit towards the evening. I, I want to do a video where I'm, um, probably in one of the next videos, will actually share things that seem to help me. So I can share them with you uh, in terms of how I deal with the situation that I'm in. And uh, yeah, might be useful for some of you. Okay, so here I decided to add another color. This is a new color I added along with one, two, three more. So this is by Daniel Smith, all of them. Um, once I finish this series, I will share with you what four new colors, well, three other colors I have added to my um, collection. Now this one is olive green. I have been looking at this color for a while and sort of not really sure if I wanted to have it because it was on a muted side. Lately I am totally into these neutrals and muted colors. I think they're just absolutely gorgeous, especially when you team them up with certain other colors. Um, they just, they're gorgeous. So yeah, if you're curious, this is the Olive Green by Daniel Smith and I thought it's a lovely addition here and I'm really happy with this color palette uh, with the colors being separately next to each other so here you can see how the green was created and that's the only part I don't like um, but it's nothing wrong there it almost looks like a turquoise um, blue or green so that's it for today see you not for today see you in two hours thanks for watching